Good morning, students. Welcome to our e-learning platform. Today we are going to start our chapter 11, that is force, machine, and energy. Today we will do its part one. In this chapter, we are going to learn about force, effects of force, and different types of force. Different types of force may be gravitational, frictional, electrostatic, magnetic. And next topic will be simple machines. In simple machine, we will include lever, inclined plane, wedge, screw, wheel and axle, and pulley. And last, we will do energy, different types of energies, mechanical energy, solar energy, wind energy, hydroelectric energy, light energy, heat energy, and at last, sound energy. Let's start with force. What is the force? The pushing or pulling of an object is called force. We push or pull object most of the time. For example, when we have to open the door or close the door, we apply force. Now let us see the different effects of force. What force can do? If force is applied to a stationary object, it can move. If force is applied to a moving object, it can move faster. An object can slow down or stop with force. An object can change the direction with force. The shape of an object can be changed with force. Now discuss about the different types of force. First we are taking gravitational force. The earth has a force that attracts or pull objects towards it. If we throw a ball upward in the air, it comes down back on the earth because of its gravitational force. And second is magnetic force. Magnets attract objects made of iron and nickel. This force of magnets is called magnetic force. Next is muscular force. When we use our limbs to pull or push objects, we apply muscular force. We apply muscular force when we pluck a fruit from a tree. Next is electrostatic force. Some metals get charged when rubbed with other objects. When we run a comb through our hair, we are able to pull some pieces of paper with the comb. This force is called electrostatic force. Now let's talk about elastic force. We can stretch or compress things with elastic force. It is used in ropes for bungee jumping and other adventure sports. Next one is mechanical force. Mechanical force is applied in all the types of simple machines like scissors, staplers, etc. Next one is bion force. When we push a floating object down in the water, it comes up with an upward thrust. This is called bion force. For example, diving in a swimming pool. And the last force is frictional force. Frictional force is a force that tries to slow down or stop the movement of the moving object. That's all for today's video. Remaining part will be continued in the next part. Till then, bye, thank you and take good care.